Welcome back to V2 Gaming. My name is Volgaraza, and today, this is a video response to LSG's League Combat Ship uh, video. They just released this today, uh, and this is my response to the questions that Aaron has asked. Um, I think you need to have a basic design that people can modify. So, let's say, for instance, this ship here. Let's say if this ship was the um, basic design. You know, it's very simple. It's compact. And so people would be issued one of these, and you can change um, things about it. So you can change where the thrusters are. You may be able to add um, more blocks to it if you want, um, but you cannot change the number of thrusters or the types of thrusters. So let's say this has, you know, so many small thrusters and two large thrusters. You should, could not be able to uh, add more large thrusters. I don't know, maybe you could add them if you took like a penalty to your final score or whatever. Or, um, you know, that'll be up to Aaron uh, to decide. Let's see, it has two small containers and some piping. So you could add more piping to get to the add-on cans. I think Two getting cannons is pretty good, um, you know, for for combat, ship to ship combat. And these are pretty, you know, you know, it's got two gyros on there as well. And these are pretty, you know, maneuverable ships. Uh, let me like, get in here and kind of fly it around a bit. Uh, there we go. Lock takes off all right. It's got a nice uh, speed. You know, it shoots really good. Um, you know, these getting cannons do a pretty good, decent amount of damage to uh, light armor, so these are really effective. Uh, missiles just do way too much damage. Uh, let's say, <coughs> for instance, um, as far as like scoring goes, let's say that uh, this ship. Uh, I think I think um, I'm trying to like process all of the uh, information, so I'm pretty ex I'm pretty excited about this. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, the first person to lose their cockpit or run out of ammo, so let's say there's a max cap of like 2,000 units of ammo. You know, that's like 1,000 for each Gatling cannon. That's not terrible, that's pretty good, it's a good amount. And, you know, you get, if you run out, that's it, you're disqualified, you know, you have no more, you, that's it, that's all you got. So you gotta use it tactically, and you can't just not shoot at the other person and just like put all your thrusters facing in the backwards direction and just go really, really fast and out, out, outrun them. That is a tactic. Um, you know, that would be a pretty cool tactic, actually. So you'd use your gyros to, like, help you figure out which way you want to go. So you wouldn't have you'd have more forward thrust and momentum than anything. So you'd be really, really fast. You get to top speed really quickly, but you have pretty much no handling at all. So that that could it in itself. You can turn and shoot. And, you know, it's got a good good radius of turning, so it's not like overpowered or anything. I don't. For combat, you want everyone to have a beginning level play of level playing field, a standard by which you should build your ships to. And I think I am offering up this ship as to Aaron as the um, standard base ship. Um, I'm going to put this on the workshop, and you, you know, Aaron, if you'd like to, you can go take a look at it. I really like your videos; like you're really awesome. Um, been watching you for some time, you and Sage, and Tazu as well. Uh, I don't think I've missed an episode of your survival series. Anyway, side tangent and fanboy moment over. Uh, let's see. I also wanted to go over some other uh, particular things. Um, so you can't change how many reactors you have. Uh, almost all the parts have to be pretty much the same. You could probably add more regular blocks. Um, so one reactor, one large reactor, <coughs> and you can change this, the, the pipe beds or the pipes. Um, also, perhaps maybe adding a battery-powered league. Um, that would be pretty nifty. Let me reset my camera here. Mods? I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of on the fence. The fighter cockpit here is really awesome. I think that should be allowed. Also, if you notice here, this cockpit is really shiny. That is also a mod. You know, aesthetic mods, that's probably okay. Uh, but it should probably be very, very limited. So what I have installed is pretty much this cockpit and the shiny cockpit mod. 
that's it. That's all that's installed on this world. Uh, so, you know, mods should be fairly limited. You need a basic bare bones design from the base game that doesn't, you know, that's not, you know, so that way you can tell, you know, it's fair. You know, that's, it's fair. People can, you know, know what the stats are for those particular items and you know, can plan accordingly. Um, let's see what else here. That's pretty much it. You know, have a battery powered league, some with solar panels and, you know, <laughs> that would pretty be, pretty be, be pretty cool. I don't, I, I might make a uh, battery powered version of this, but for now, um, this is just a powered version. So that's it. That is my video response. Uh, it's really good to uh, see, you know, Aaron, you know, trying to get the community together to do something really awesome and be very entertaining. And he, us here at V2 Gaming, uh, we like to entertain people. So, you know, Aaron, if you need any help at all, count me in. And as always, be good.